Hey everyone, Joseph Gallegos here with Grapefruit Green. Today we're going to talk about EBWE, which means Existing Building Energy and Water Efficiency. And it's an ordinance in the city of Los Angeles. We're starting to work on our first particular cases. So what's going on is that if you own a building that's 20,000 square feet and above in the city of Los Angeles, you have to cut your water consumption by 20%. Now we're probably going to see more and more of these in other cities. So if you're watching these videos and it happens to apply to you, feel free to reach out to us and we'll show you the steps that we take. So the first steps, of course, you're going to switch out your toilets. You're going to put aerators in all your sinks. But if you're still short, our process is that we first do a irrigation audit. We go around, we look at your actual landscape and we make sure that the right amount of water is going into the right directions and it's going into the right plants at the right volumes. That helps determine if you're utilizing the amount of water in your landscape that's proper. The second is that we then replace your irrigation controller with a weather smart controller. So that way if it's a rainy day or if it's cloudy, it's going to lower the amount of water that's being applied to the landscape based off of the evaporation transpiration number. For that day so that's a really key thing our controller is very special and that it's not sequential meaning that it doesn't go from zone one to zone two to zone three we can actually skip zones so today's zone one could do monday thursday and friday and zone two can do zone wednesday and saturday only so we can mix and match and that's very important when you north side of the building it's a tall building. It's going to be very shaded, very cool. And you don't want it part of the sequential. And you don't want it on an everyday basis. Otherwise, you're going to start seeing that green moss and items like that, which means you have too much water in that area. So we have some really creative ways to control the amount of water that goes on your landscape. The third thing is that after the audit is done, we'll also have a re report. On that report, we're going to tell you what should be replaced. A lot of times landscapes still have old traditional sprinkler heads that just spray the water out in a fine mist. A lot of that mist ends up floating off and going in different directions. Well, we like the rotary heads that kind of, it looks like a pinwheel and it will put out the water at a lower volume but longer consistency, giving the landscape a chance to absorb that water. In some areas where it's too close to the sidewalk, We'll replace those, that irrigation with a aquifer pipe system because that's going to put the water subsurfacely away from evaporation and away from spilling off into the sidewalks. It's also a great product for high intense sun areas because that way we're irrigating subsurfacely and you're not getting the bake off of the water constantly in those areas. So the aquifer pipe is our, our go-to product and from those trouble spots. That will tell us exactly how much water you're going to have on that landscape by, by, by doing that audit and making those adjustments. The last thing we do for the landscape is that we put a separate meter. So now we're monitoring how much water is actually going into the landscape compared to the regular part of the, the, the building. By doing that as well, you're going to save on your sewer costs because typically the city of Los Angeles charges you a certain percentage. Santa, Santa Monica, any other city does the same thing, is that how much water gets pushed out into the building is typically the same amount they're gonna charge for coming out of the building as sewage. So by putting a separate meter, you're gonna have two separate prices. One for the building, that's, that's gonna calculate water coming in and sewage going out, as in the landscape portion, which is just be water coming in and going on the landscape. Now, you know that we're big water conservation people here at Grateful Green, so, we're gonna find the best cost-effective way for you to save water, to reduce your water footprint. By those means, if you're still in a problem where you still have more water gallons that you have to save, we're gonna to start to look at gray water systems. And depending on how big your landscape is and what needs to be done, if it's a well-entrenched landscape with a lot of sprinkler heads and well-established, we'll probably suggest an NSF 350 system and that's where we're going to take the water from your showers and your laundry, clean it to a high quality standard so it looks crystal clear, and then push it out the same current irrigation system we currently have. 
If it's a rehab of the whole landscape, then we're going to probably bring in an untreated system and utilize the aquifer pipe system and get that out into the landscape. But in either case, you're going to find that we're going to utilize the aquifer pipe much more than any other company and one of our designs, mainly because the aquifer pipe sits, the aquifer pipe sits 12 inches below the ground and it creates a virtual water table away from the lost, the water being lost to evaporation. So that's the key behind conserving water. We're finding that saves about 50% of your water consumption, even over drip irrigation, which people like to say that drip is a great solution, but after the rodents eat it and it breaks and it's always running all over the place, the water savings isn't that great. So um, if you're having problems with that, definitely look at our product line. But that's our path, getting back to our path, this is our path to an EV we retrofit. We're definitely going to be able to save you money and there's going to be a return on the investment based off of all the water you're saving. It's going to come in at either six years or it's going to come in at 11 years. But you're going to get a return on whatever money you put into our type of systems or into our type of plan to be able to save water and you're going to earn the savings from having a lower water bill and a lower sewer bill. And that's what's going to pay for the system over time. So I hope that helps out and I hope that's going to help meet your EVWE requirement keep you out of that penalty list because nobody wants to be on that list when it gets published in the LA Times. So stay green. Click on the description below to find out where to buy the products. We also have links to instructions to how to build a great water system. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. We would also love to hear your questions and also share how you prevent climate change. Put those in the comment section as well.